Distracted driving is a dangerous and common occurrence on today's roadways. And with the holiday season in full swing and more people hitting the road, it's an important time to discuss the dangers and impact of distracted driving. And here to tell us more is President of Travelers Institute and Senior Vice President of Cambridge Mobile Telematics, Joan Woodward and Ryan McMahon. Welcome to ISF. Thank you. It's a great conversation to have about safety on the road. Joan, you know, we hear and we've received the message, texting and driving, it can wait. But can you tell us about the different types of distractions drivers are facing on the road? Sure, you know, uh, with the holidays in full swing now, 48 million Americans are gonna hit the road, pack it up and go to grandma's for the holidays. And at Travelers, we really felt it was important to uh, give tips and strategies for those drivers and passengers to uh, drive distraction free. Uh, and so our new guide is called Every Second Matters. And it talks about some of the causes of distraction, uh, the reasons people are distracted. It's not just texting and calling on your cell phone, it's eating, drinking, uh, programming your GPS before you get started on your journey, uh, scrolling through social media. and Even people are actually actively shopping online and making purchases while they're driving. And so you can't see that construction worker or that pedestrian or bicyclist when you're distracted. So a couple quick tips. Number one, set your GPS before you start your journey. Number two, activate that do not disturb on your cell phone. And number three, if you have to make a call or a text, pull over and it's, you know, someplace safe at a rest stop, maybe. Ryan, how are telematics programs helping to promote safer driving? Telematics programs are a key contributor to roadway safety, super important for South Florida as well. It's actually one of the highest distracted driving areas in the country, which means that drivers need to not only be aware of their own behavior, but also that the drivers around them may be a little less safe. So the key component here is feedback that drivers get themselves. About 75% of drivers think they're better than average. So the only real way to know is by actually measuring it. And the insurance industry has provided incentives to drivers to do exactly that. Those incentives are significant. Uh, $200 every six months and types of savings that drivers are seeing by enrolling in telematics programs from their insurers. And this is simply as downloading an app, as simple as downloading an app for drivers that uh, enroll in these programs. And it's all opt-in. These drivers receive feedback on each of their trips on things like distracted driving, speeding, harsh braking, harsh acceleration. And overall, drivers can save even more than that because these programs are continuing to update and provide feedback to the driver so they know how to be safer. And overall, people in these programs are about three times safer than those that are not. So encouraging more individuals to test their own safety and then also get incentivized for the same, uh, same behavior is a great win-win for all. Ryan and Joan, happiest of holidays to you. And thank you for keeping us safe on the roads here in South Florida. All the best. Thanks, Thanks. so much for the time.